Hi, I'm Kristen. Uh, if you've not seen the channel before, um, I mostly talk about um, scrap quilts and using up leftover fabric and foundation paper piecing and stuff like that. But um, today I thought I would do something a bit different. So um, we're gonna call this a quilting vlog, I guess. So it's basically a bunch of updates about uh, where I am with different projects that I've talked about in different videos. Cause I know I normally do like one video about one thing and then there's something else, um, but I've kind of left a few things hanging. So I wanted to kind of update everyone on where I am with all those things. So the first one, I'm gonna start with the most difficult one for me to actually update you on. So the first one is my weight loss quilt. So if you don't know what that is, I'll link to it above or in the description. But basically it's a block a day that I've been recording um, that records whether or not I ate healthy and whether or not I exercised and how much I exercised. And I was doing really well um, from November to about beginning of February or so, I think. I don't know, I can't remember. Um, and I'd lost 21 pounds. Uh, and this path, and then I had a hiccup and then I did like a restart thing and I was sure I was on the right track and then March happened. Uh, and truthfully in March, I've done nothing. So I've not really even, I might've tracked it a little bit, but not very, I haven't, definitely haven't tracked the whole month. I haven't been exercising, I haven't been on my treadmill the entire month, which is the bulk of what I've been doing for exercise before then. Um, eating has been kind of up and down. Somehow I've lost another pound, but not by design. I can't kind of claim that was, <laughs> that was something I was working towards. So um, in terms of what happened, uh, what happened was the state of the world, to be honest. Um, I've just been finding it really, really hard to cope with what's happening in Ukraine. And I, it's not that I have relatives there or anything like that. I am in uh, Scotland, so we're maybe a little bit closer geographically to the Ukraine than some of you guys. But um, it's just blindsided me, I guess, you know. Um, and obviously I know that what I'm struggling with is nothing compared to those actually living through this. This is kind of a first world problem that I'm having. Um, but I think a lot of, you know, I wanted to kind of share it because I think a lot of us are in the same boat who, uh, those of you are watching this, like we're removed from it. We don't have direct control over what's going on. And, um, you know, although obviously we feel grateful for the security and the safety we have at, at this moment, we, you know, it, you can't help but feel like if it can happen there, it can happen here kind of thing. And uh, um, yeah, and so we're just having to cope with, um, you know, what it is to be removed from that and, and how to how do you go on with your your day to day life when you know people are suffering somewhere else and you know that the world just has kind of shaken on its axis. Um, obviously COVID kind of shook us all a bit. And um, for me, quilting was what I did to cope with the stress and the anxiety of COVID. I do, I do kind of have a history of anxiety issues and obviously that was anxiety provoking for all of us. Um, and I, I did really well at channeling that into quilting and learning to quilt and just getting obsessed with it all. And that gave me something to focus on so I didn't kind of just keep spinning in my head about all of the what ifs and everything and everybody dying and stuff. Um, but this time around, uh, some, with, with the war, um, that coping mechanism, I guess, isn't working for me as much. I'm still sewing, I'm still trying, I am getting moments of respite from the anxiety from sewing. And obviously I do have to get on with my daily life. I've got kids and stuff, but it's just not the same as it was before. And so losing weight just hasn't, uh, hasn't carried the same kind of momentum for me. Like it's just the motivation has gone. It's kind of like, you know, if this kind of stuff can happen in the world, what is the point of this? Which I understand is, is, is not a logical way of thinking. Like I can't control what's happening there by me dropping the ball on exercising, <laughs> you know, like it doesn't, I can't do anything about it. Um, if you've watched the channel for a while, you know that I, initially was kind of trying to channel it into sewing a, a pattern uh, by a Ukrainian designer. Her shop is at Sasha's Quilts. I'll put a picture of it and 
link in the description also to a blog post where there's lots of other Ukrainian pattern designers that you can buy and sort of um, PDF craft designers that you can buy from. But once I had done that and kind of publicized that and given money to the British Red Cross and all those kind of stuff, that feeling of powerlessness came back. Um, and I know we all have it. it was, you know, there's nothing we can really do. Um, and yeah, so instead of going, well, I'm just going to exercise more <laughs> to get the feel good, you know, uh, chemicals that you get from exercising. I don't know what they're called. Um, I just dropped the ball. So, and you know, the whole point of doing it on YouTube and telling you guys about it was to give myself some accountability. And I do feel like I've let some of you down who are doing this with me and are looking to me to say, oh, I've kept with it or I've got up. Now, I'm not saying I'm not gonna go back to it. I fully in intend to go back to it. I, this is something I wanna do for me and for my health. And I just can't tell you that it's definitely gonna be tomorrow um, because I'm still kind of struggling with, you know, <laughs> how to kind of get through day to day, day life with all this stuff going on. I have a, a, a difficulty with kind of not tuning into the news and not kind of, yeah, anyway, I don't know how to say it, but <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one who's finding this situation just hard to wrap our heads around and, and hard to know what to do with, you know, it's just, yeah. So that's where I am with the weight loss quilt. I have been um, encouraged by, there's been a few of you who have told me that you're finding success with the weight loss quilt and that it's really been important for you at this time. So that's really helped me to be like, okay, you know, um, all is not lost. As a group, we're still doing this. So uh, I will get back to it and I will let you know when I'm doing that. Um, so anyway, I'm sorry to anybody who's disappointed that um, I've not been uh, keeping up with it in the same way that I have been previously. So the second update is around my works in progress. So I have been doing a fair amount of sewing. Um, if you've seen my works in progress video, it's basically a video I did like in January of like the stuff I had undone from the year before and I was gonna work on a lot of that. And I kind of um, started off doing that in sort of February and went on a wrong tangent and made my worst quilt ever, which there's also a video about. Uh, and then I was like, okay, I'm not gonna spend time on things I don't like anymore. <laughs> And I did. So I was um, trying to basically, the starting point was like I was going to make a quilt to go with, I've got like this really florally, sounds awful, but this, <laughs> this like pink and green and black velvet floral headboard um, that I reupholstered a couple years ago. Um, but I don't have like a quilt that's got kind of those colors. So I was going to do some quick modern thing, uh, sort of stash buster using the pinks and greens. And I did a big fabric pole and stuff and started putting it together similar to the kind of modern scrap quilt idea but maybe on a bigger scale um modern scrap quilt is another video that i did um i'll put a picture up anyway uh and then i didn't like it and then i was like oh what else can i do with this so i pulled out another unfinished project and kind of practiced doing um if you've ever seen people they like cut block two blocks together to make a like a slight curve and then they sew they sew it in a curve. So I was like, oh, I've not done a lot of that. So I'll practice my curves and stuff. And I've actually put together a ginormous quilt top, totally random, like improv looking thing. That's like 210 centimeters by 230 centimeters. It's not trimmed. It would have to be trimmed. I've got a super king bed. So 200 by 200 would be fine. But um, anyways, uh, but then I showed my friend the quilt top, like on Zoom or something. And I was telling her like, well, I've gotten this far. I don't love it. I kind of, I'm not sure about it, but maybe it'll look better when I quilt it. And she was like, you really seem to like torturing yourself. <laughs> so I was like, oh. <laughs> so then I was like, where did I get this whole I've started so I have to finish thing from? And I feel like it's a lesson I've learned over and over again. And I still don't, I still can't quite shake it. So anyway, instead of going ahead and making myself quilt this thing, I folded it up. So now I've got another whip. But anyway, it could be, maybe I'll finish it another day when I feel more positive about it, or maybe it'll be the backing to a quilt. I don't know. Anyway, I haven't wasted any more time quilting it, so I'm getting better. <laughs> Just shouldn't have spent all the time making the whole thing. So 
Um, before that, I was slowly working on my farmer's wife coat. So I've still got a few new blocks for that. I can't remember how many I've done now, 40 something. And there's 99 in the book. And I am starting to listen to some of you who said in the comments, like, just do as many as you want to and then finish it. So I think I might do a few more, but I may or may not actually get to the 99. And then I've got, I now have an idea of how I want to, um, so I don't want to do the, the kind of setting triangles, that's what they're called, in, that it's in the Farmer's Wife Pilt book. So I've got another kind of more modern idea of how I want to lay it out. So I will get to that in the coming months, hopefully. Uh, the, but the one that I've been kind of actually finding um, some sewing joy from in the last week or so, since I folded up the other one quilt top and put it away, is my low volume crumb quilt. So I talked about that in the whips video. I just had a few, I'm basically making, call them blocks or I'm kind of calling them slabs a little bit. They're kind of like crumb slabs. So I just kind of um, start with a small crumb and then I'm adding pieces. Um, some of them look like log cabins. Some of them look totally random, like more like an improv thing. If you don't know what crumb quilting is, I have uh, several videos about it. Uh, we'll link to them above and in the description. Um, so you basically start, so any of those videos I have about making a crumb quilt block, this is just, you just keep going basically. You make it bigger and you keep adding sections and you add like, um, at certain points I also add strips. So I have a whole box of strips. And so I've been taking out the low volume ones. So the white and the white pattern ones essentially is what that means. And I'm kind of, it's, it's giving me back that kind of mindless sewing where you just kind of, I've got this whole flow going on where I kind of chain piece and then I kind of cut from the back. So I separate them without stopping the chain. And then um, I press, trim, and then add again. So you can just keep going with the same chain, like round and round in a circle for like a whole evening. Um, and I like put Netflix on and it's just kind of has gotten me into a bit, bit more of a, a, a sewing zone, if you will. So I haven't laid them all out on the floor. I'll, I'll lay out as many as I can to take a photo so you can see where I've kind of got to. Um, so I don't know that I've got a whole quilt tops worth yet. I think it'll still take me a while, but I'm liking that. It's just kind of, it's been a fun sewing exercise. So, um, I'm going to keep doing that for now. Cause it's, um, it's giving me a little bit more of that joy back. I was, I was kind of torturing myself with strange projects. Um, but the other one that I did, uh, I think also before that was to take some of my orphan blocks, a couple of them and just quilt them up and bind them. So almost like a, I guess like a table centerpiece. But um, what I did first was call my local, um, what are they called now? Cats Protection League. So it's, it's like basically like a cat shelter um, for rescue cats and uh, asked them if they would like little sort of cat sized quilts for the, for some of the, um, they do have cages they sleep in, but they also kind of, I've seen the place, that's where we got our cats. And we kind of, they kind of wander around. And I know my cats like like sitting on quilts. So um, I asked them if they would take donations of that. And they said yes. And I asked them for the size. So they were saying, they gave me kind of a maximum size. And so I've done two um, sort of cat quilts, I guess. <laughs> so uh, that at least has gotten a couple of the orphan blocks out of the way. But again, I don't want to just, I did also stop myself from just going through all the orphan blocks and making loads and loads of cat quilts because I was like, is this really giving me joy? Um, so I will maybe do that as and when I feel like practicing a new quilting design, I'm thinking, something like that. Because um, I do sometimes just go and put that straight in a quilt without um, practicing first. So maybe that would be a good practice exercise for me. So um, anyway, so that's where I've gotten to, I think, with most of the whips. So the last update I have is that I've been working on a few more foundation paper piece and block patterns. So some more, there's a free heart pattern that I have that some of you have downloaded and used. And um, I've been encouraged by how much you guys like that. So I've made a few more and I'm still working on them and testing them and stuff. And then I might open an Etsy shop or something, I don't know, um, and and sell them as block patterns, a bundle or something. So if you're on my, I haven't decided when that's gonna happen, so don't quote me, but <laughs> if you're on my email list already, and you like you've got the heart pattern, then I will 
you'll I'll send you a link when that's live and probably a discount code um, for being a subscriber and stuff like that. Um, but it's kind of vaguely on the horizon. This again is not going to happen tomorrow. Um, so yeah, that is my updates for now. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think about the whole vlog update thing as opposed to just um, having one thing that the video is about. Um, wasn't sure about that, but I knew I wanted to kind of give you guys uh, at least a heads up what was happening with the weight loss quilt. And so I thought I'd throw in a few other updates at the same time. So I hope you guys are all finding your joy in your sewing life and coping with everything that's going on. If you like this video and you actually watched it to the end with all my rambling, then please do subscribe, hit the bell for notifications and um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. I really appreciate you spending time with me and um, I will see you again soon.